Hello, and welcome to the United for Math series on adding and subtracting fractions. In this lesson, we will learn how to subtract fractions with unlike denominators. It's really important that students have a strong knowledge on how to find the least common denominator, as that's extremely important before we can subtract unlike fractions. So let's take a look at our first example problem. Here we have 10 elevenths minus 1 third. So the first step is to check out our denominators. Our denominators are not the same, so we need to make them the same by finding the least common denominator. In order to do that, we're going to list out our multiples of 11 and our multiples of 3 to find out which multiple is the smallest multiple that they have in common. So let's go ahead and do that. I know 11, 22, 33, and I can stop right here because I know that 3 times 11 will get me to 33. But let's go ahead and list out our multiples so we can see that. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33. So 33 is the smallest number that they both have in common. So now we're going to go ahead and line up our fractions vertically so that we can find an equivalent fraction for each of these in order to subtract them. So we know that our new denominator is 33. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down here for both of my denominators. All right, let's take a look at how we can find our numerator. Well, I know that three times 11 is 33. So what I multiply my denominator by, I must also multiply my numerator by. One times 11 is 11. So 1 third is equivalent to 11 over 33. Let's take a look at our fraction up here. 11 times 3 is 33. So I must, must multiply 10 by 3 and I'll get 30. So 10 elevenths is equivalent to 30 over 33. So let's rewrite these over here so it's out of the way and we can clearly see which two fractions we're subtracting. So now we simply just subtract our numerators. Our denominators will stay the same. So 30 minus 11 is going to give me 19. And 33, we're not doing 33 minus 33. 33 is our denominator, which stays the same. This is where I see some students get confused because we're subtracting the numerators, but not the denominators. So just remind them, when we're subtracting our fractions, we subtract the numerators, but the denominators stay the same. So let's keep going. So now I can see that 10 elevenths minus 1 third gives me 19 over 33. Let's use these same steps to take a look at another example. So here we have 7 eighths minus 1 half. So our first step would be to look at the denominators. And if they are unlike, we need to make them the same by finding the least common denominator. So we're going to go ahead, write out our multiples of 8 and our multiples of 2. So 8, and I can really stop right here because I know that I can go from 2 up to 8 by multiplying by 4. 2, 4, 6, 8. So my least common denominator is 8. So then we go ahead and set up these fractions vertically, 7 eighths minus 1 half, so that we can find an equivalent fraction using our new denominator of 8. Well, 7 eighths will stay 7 eighths because our denominator here stayed 8. Now down here, let's look at how we would get from 2 to 8. We know that 2 times 4 equals 8. So whatever I multiply my denominator by, I must also multiply this numerator by 4. 1 times 4 is 4. So my new equivalent fraction down here is 4 eighths. So let's go ahead and rewrite it and subtract. 7 eighths minus 4 eighths will give me 3 eighths. So coming back up to the original problem, 7 eighths minus 1 half equals 3 eighths. So we can see that the steps for subtracting unlike fractions are the same as when we 
add unlike fractions. The most important part is that we have our least common denominator. And then when we go to add or subtract those fractions, and in this case subtracting, the denominator stays the same. We're only subtracting those numerators. We look forward to seeing you in our next lesson where we will be adding mixed numbers with unlike denominators. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.